So this is the jig I made for the uh, scarfing. The router slides up and down. This part here was cut at a 10 degree angle. So I put a board under and just ride the router on top of the board and it cuts it at an angle. It doesn't work too well because it's little, it moves a bit, it's not uh, stiff enough it's not rigid enough and uh, that jig was not intended to be used like that uh, but that's all I have right now so it's gonna have to do Here are the boards after going through the router. It's not that great a job, there's some irregularities, but I think with a bit of sanding it should be okay. And of course uh, they will be glued like so. And that is a scarf joint. Of course here it doesn't quite fit, but Again, with a little bit of sanding, it should be alright. After sanding, <clears throat> very smooth. Now we're talking. That will make a nice joint. It's really flat. I can't feel anything here. Uh, same for the other one. Oops, a little bit of damage here, but it's nice and smooth. So the two should uh, mate pretty well. Here the uh, scarf joints are ready. So I'm going to glue these together. I epoxied the uh, surfaces and uh, now I'm going to use acetone and clean them up. Then I'll apply the epoxy. Just making sure it's clean. and they will be glued together like this and supposedly the strength of the joint is as good as the rest of the wood hopefully Here I'm applying some uh, West System epoxy. I have the fast hardener, so I'll have, I'll have a little less time, but it'll be really uh, set tomorrow. I'm going to put the epoxy on both sides.
There we go. Then I'll glue them together and I have some weights that I'm going to put on and I'll show you the result. Alright, here we are. I got them as well as I could. We'll see you tomorrow.